Welcome to the Victor Valley Wastewater Reclamation Authority. Our treatment plant is nestled between Southern California Logistics Airport and the Mojave River on the north side of Victorville. It covers 446 acres, making it the largest infrastructure site in the Victor Valley. VVWRA's primary purpose is to treat wastewater. Wastewater is anything that goes down the sewer pipe or comes from a septic tank. That includes water used for bathing, washing hands, cleaning dishes, and yes, flushing the toilet. Every day, nearly 13 million gallons of wastewater flow through the sewer lines and into our treatment plant. In addition, we collect up to 24,000 gallons of waste from septic tanks every day and another 14,000 gallons of ADM and fog, which is essentially fat, oil, grease, and condiments from local restaurants and industry. When the wastewater first arrives at our plant, it goes through some large bar screens. These screens remove large items like rocks, plastics, rags, and other materials that could damage our equipment. The wastewater then flows through grit removal chambers where sand and dirt is removed. The wastewater then flows into a series of basins called primary clarifiers. These large basins remove sludge that falls to the bottom and skim floating materials off the top. Primary clarification typically removes 30% of organic waste and 70% of settled solids. The majority of floating oil, grease, and scum is also removed. Those solid materials are sent to our large digesters for further treatment and where the waste can produce biogas or methane that's used to help power our plant. After leaving the digesters, the biosolids are then dried in large basins and later used for land applications like farming. Back at the primary clarifiers, the water clarity has already greatly improved. From the primary clarifiers, the water flows to large aeration basins. Over 90% of the treatment process at VVWRA takes place right here. The aeration basins are used to grow bacteria that in turn eat the waste materials and remove contaminants from the waste stream. The treatment process is called activated sludge. Large centrifugal air blowers supply dissolved oxygen to the bacteria. The oxygen promotes the biological process and keeps the microbes happy. Once the wastewater has gone through the aeration basins, it's sent to our secondary clarifiers or settling tanks. This is where activated sludge is removed from the water. Biological microorganisms and other solid material settles to the bottom. Most of that material is sent back to the aeration basins where it can be used again to help digest the waste. The water that flows from our secondary clarifiers is treated with a chemical called alum that causes the remaining solids to stick together. This is important as the water flows into its final filtering process. VVWRA uses Aqua Diamond filters, which combine two proven filtering technologies, traveling bridge and media cloth filters. Once the water goes through the Aqua Diamond filters, it can go one of two places. Some of the water is sent to one of our percolation ponds. These ponds have a surface area of about 13 acres. Here, the water is allowed to sink into the ground naturally. But most of the water treated at VVWRA goes through a final step of ultraviolet disinfection. This building is home to our UV disinfection process. The water flows through a series of powerful UV lights. The UV light rapidly inactivates any remaining microorganisms, rendering them incapable of reproducing. UV light is proven to be more effective in disinfecting treated water than chemicals like chlorine. While this water is still considered non-potable, it is safe for full body contact, making it comparable to the water you would swim in at your local lake. Now that the water has gone through the extensive cleaning, filtering and disinfecting process, it's ready to be returned to nature. VVWRA releases between 5 and 7 million gallons of treated, reclaimed water into the Mojave River Basin every single day. This water is further cleaned naturally and helps recharge downstream aquifers, 
assuring clean water supplies for our neighbors. And VVWRA is bringing reclaimed, recycled water to other parts of the Victor Valley as well. Currently, construction is underway on water recycling plants in Apple Valley and Hesperia. They should be open by mid-2017. As we said earlier, treating wastewater is our primary goal here at VVWRA. But we also find it important to preserve and protect our environment by using the natural resources available to us. VVWRA is leading the way in reusing these resources to save energy. In 2014, VVWRA began a unique public-private partnership with a company called Energia. Energia retrofitted one of our previously decommissioned anaerobic digesters with their omnivore system. VVWRA is the first treatment plant in North America to have the omnivore. The omnivore is a process that triples the amount of sludge that could be put into a digester and in turn triples the amount of biogas or methane that is produced. In the past, the biogas would simply be burned off. But with omnivore, the gas is collected and cleaned before it's used to power a pair of 2G 800 kilowatt per hour generators. When running at full capacity, the 2G generators can create enough electricity to power up to 90% of VVWRA's plant operations, making it virtually energy neutral. Our motto here at VVWRA is taking the waste out of wastewater. But as you can see, we do so much more.